I'm Steph Pace and I love to organise. I'm a mum of two girls who are one and three, so life is pretty busy. And I also have a blog called Just Another Mummy Blog where I share all my tips and tricks on how to organise on a budget. Apart from giving the laundry a facelift, I'm also going to be organising the pantry, the linen closet and the wardrobe. Having less clutter, it really does give you a clearer mind and just makes day-to-day -day life, especially with kids, run a lot easier. Oh my god. Oh wow. We have a lot of work to do here. There is actually a pretty good space here, but we're just going to have to really gut this place out completely. I don't know what this is meant to be. I love the floorboards all the other teams have used in the house, so I'm definitely going to continue on into here. We're going to rip this trough out, get rid of all these fixtures. We're definitely going to get a nice big broom closet, get some storage happening in here, and really continue that really nice Aussie coastal kind of feel through to the laundry. Yeah, so I've got the laundry. I'm so excited to get some storage happening. So the old trough, it's a bit 1980s, so we're going to take that out and replace it, give it something with a bit more storage and get a really nice big broom closet. Because the laundry is such a small space, we're definitely going to do a front loader with a nice bench top over the top. That's really going to help us with the minimal space that we have and just maximise the storage. Hi, we're from Bunning. We're here to help. Yay, thank goodness. I thought I was doing this all by myself. <laughs> what do we need to do? We need to get so much done, clear this place out. We've got to prep the walls for paint. Yeah, cool, let's do it. We're just using a stain blocker here on the timber because it's going to stop the yellow coming through the paint. My favourite section! This section is going to change your life. <laughs> here are all the amazing baskets we're going to be using in the wardrobe. We've got the runner frames over here. You can really mix and match it to make it suit you and what you own. Over here we have, these are some really good drawers. They have different layers, so you can have different sections for different stuff. Flexi Storage have these amazing starter kits. So if you need to organise your wardrobe, these are such a good place to start. Clicked on this this morning, now I'm collecting it. Click and collect, how good is that? All right, what's the plan? What are we doing here? So we're just changing the water and the waste here to set up for the new laundry trough. You'll be able to do a lot of things by yourself. But call a plumber to move your taps and put the new trough in. <laughs> So much better already. <laughs> there we go. Done. How deep are these drawers? So oh, wow, they're really cool. And they're soft clothes as well. Oh, yeah. awesome. That's so cool. So yeah, tollers we'll... can't slam stuff. <laughs> oh, wow. This wardrobe has no organisation happening. The storage isn't the best. So I'm going to pull everything out. We're going to get some drawers in here use the flexi storage and just completely make it totally different. <laughs> it reminds me of my room when I was a teenager. I pulled out everything from the wardrobe and chucked it on the bed and there's actually a pretty good space for us to work with. Now I'm gonna pull the shelf out and get some flexi storage happening. <laughs> what we've got here is a flexi storage. I got the starter kit. Now we're just going to make our own wardrobe. You can even get a pegboard up the top here so you can pop things up here like jewellery, earrings, accessories, stuff like that. You can see the flexi storage is letting us utilise the entire wardrobe. We've got heaps of storage happening, massive improvement from what it was. And now I'm going to be teaching you guys how to do the KonMari fold, which was created by Marie Kondo. So it's the art of vertical folding. It's going to save you so much space. All right, so what we're going to be doing is create a rectangle shape. So we're just going to fold half in there fold that sleeve over and it doesn't have to be perfect and fold the sleeve over. Now we're going to be folding it in half and then again into thirds and that is just going to sit upright like that.
It's time for me to go into the laundry, make sure we're gonna get the floorboards down now, the final coat of paint, and get the splashback happening as well. So if you guys have noticed, Jesse's painting has gone a little bit haywire. So that is why you paint before you put the floorboards down. Come on guys, it's my first time. <laughs> We're repurposing some floorboards. We're basically just gonna stick them on the wall as a splashback. It's really budget friendly and really easy. We wanted to take the splash back to the ceiling because it is a smaller room. It really makes it feel bigger and more inviting and it really helps go with the coastal theme of the rest of the house. All right, guys, so here we have the pantry. So pretty standard, pretty standard pantry. There's this product thrown everywhere. There's probably 20 million curry powders in here. So I'm basically just gonna show you how we're gonna get this organized. So here we have some spice racks. These are from Bunnings to stop your containers and jars moving and sliding around on the shelves. We're going to be using a liner. So this is just a grip liner that you grab from Bunnings. We've also got some crates over here. Now this is perfect for larger items. It doesn't need to be hard. But firstly, what we need to do is pull all of this out and we're gonna do a big cull, see if anything's out of date. So once you've organised everything into a category, it's going to be a lot less overwhelming to tackle. You're going to start looking at how you're going to store everything. So we're going to be looking at your jars, your containers and your tubs. So it's time to get this pantry organised. Alright, so majority of that is done. So now it's time for the other fun part, which is labels. We're also going to be making a chalkboard on the door. For the chalkboard on the door, we've got the chalkboard paint from Bunnings, which is really, really handy. This is also really great for a kid's playroom as well. For our labels, we have got the chalkboard tape from Bunnings, which is really handy because you can change what it says. Now we can see exactly what we have in the pantry. If you're looking for something, you know where to go. All right, so we have a timber bench here. This is gonna be going across the washing machine to give us some bench space. I love that we're using timber here because that's gonna really help with that coastal theme of the house. So now all I have to do is I'm gonna be using the bench top clear. This is gonna seal it off and make it waterproof. We're gonna get stuck into the linen closet. We have done some flexi storage. So we've got some tubs, some shelves happening. So we've got a lot more space to put blankets and pillows. So now Jesse and I are gonna get stuck into it. We've also got these flexi storage vacuum bags, which are amazing for saving space. Yeah. All right, Jesse, last bits. Nearly done. Awesome. For the drying rack, we just repurposed a curtain rail. You can just simply hang up items on there and it's gonna dry by itself. Done! Yes. Yay, all done! Ooh. Yes! Looks amazing. So good. So good. The laundry is looking so amazing. I'm so stoked with how it's turned out. The transformation for what it looked like before to now is mind blowing. The trough has created more space in the laundry and it's really modernised it as well. 
The broom closet was really heavy, but it was so worth it. There's so much storage in there. It's gonna have the vacuums. I love the new flooring. It's waterproof, it's hybrid, it looks great. Front loader washing machine is perfect for small spaces because then you can put a bench top over the top of it. The timber bench looks so good. It really got that coastal theme nailed. A couple of uh, residents in here that are uh, quite happy to chew on the letters in there. So there's a lot to work with. Right, oh, off to everybody's favourite toy shop. Mermaid tail, perfect. So Turf's here, which is exciting. Yeah, that's gone. Yeah. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed that episode. To make sure you don't miss out on any Make It Yours action, be sure to click like and subscribe to the Bunnings YouTube channel.